All right, so this is the front of the house. And this is back in the Rocky Bayou area that y'all love. Got the double car garage, nice wide driveway. Gutters going across the front here. They've got some fresh pine straw that went down. All right, so this is as you walk into the front door. So right here to the left, you have two rooms. So they've got a formal dining area here. And then as you can see to the other side, there's a, an additional room. Over here, so I'm sure you could probably wall this up and turn this into an office or a playroom. <clears throat> this glass table is extremely heavy, she said, and that's the only reason it hasn't been moved. Um, but they were planning on leaving it unless you want it gone. So, all right, so back to the foyer. These are tile, the, the floor is tile, the wood plank tile. Over here to the right, it's like they have a nice man cave area. And over here is the garage. Got the pull down stairs, nice workbench area. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that this room may have been, this room looks like it's been converted. So this room looks like maybe, maybe it was the original garage and maybe this was added on. You can see there's like a step up right here. So this looks like it was exterior at one point. Um, we could probably pull some county records to see. Uh, at least they still have it all wired up for surround sound, but this looks like it's some kind of conversion of some sort. But I could be wrong. We can definitely see what we can find out. You can see it's a step down right here. So continuing through, back to the foyer. Right here to the left, you have the kitchen is really nice and big and open. You've got granite, stainless appliances, You've got the little desk area. These look like they've been refinished recently. These look original. We've got a pantry here. And then you've got the breakfast nook right here. So this is that door that's kind of off that, this area, like right here. So it kind of goes back around to the front door. So over here is the front door and there's that dining area. And then you've got this little nook area. It's kind of like, almost like two formal dining rooms because you can see you've got the, the two big chandeliers. So um, this would make a great office space. Like I said, you could wall this up here have your office here, all of the kitchen. And then, you know, cause I know that you're not big on the formal dining room, but you could do some barn doors or some French doors. And then that could be like a nice play area for the kids or even another bedroom. This room is definitely big enough for a bedroom. You could put a small closet over here and have that built in. So there's a lot of possibilities for this space. Cause it's a, it is a little funky, but I feel like there's a lot you could do with it. So back through the kitchen you got the living room, really nice high ceilings, 
uh, no smells. You see how big the ceilings are. They are vaulted in here. So you've got the nice little walk over here. And that tile floor is continuing through. It looks like gas logs in there. It's overlooking your pool area. We'll get back to that in a minute. So walking through, so again, you've got this foyer area, you've got the kitchen right here, and then into the living room. So let me back up a little bit so you can kind of see where we're at. <clears throat> so this is that foyer hall. To the left, you have the kitchen. And then right here, you have the living room. And then if you turn right, you've got a double door entry to what I'm assuming is going to be your master bedroom, which is massive. This is huge. Probably bigger than anything that I remember us looking at, to be honest with you. Through here is your master bathroom. So they've got some shelves built in here. You've got a nice walk-in shower with tile. Double vanities, oh, and a clawfoot tub. <laughs> nice shiplap done in here. This all looks pretty updated. So here you've got the closet. They've got some built-ins going on. In here for some nice space, shoe racks. That tub is so cute. The water closet is here. And then looks like you've got another nice size closet on this side. So his and hers, which is really good space. That closet has a nice little niche for your shampoos and stuff. Wow, this bedroom is amazing. And it overlooks the pool too, so that's a nice, nice feature. So back out of the bedroom, you've got your under the stairs storage. And then over here, down the hall, you have, it's dark, there we go. The laundry is at the end of the hall. So this room isn't huge. Definitely looks like they've done some sheetrock work here. Um, I don't know if, I don't know what they were doing. It looks like they've done some, they were working on something or Maybe this is part of that enclosure, um, but there's that. And then over here you have the downstairs bathroom. So you've got this room and then over here is the toilet. Um, this is wallpaper. <clears throat> definitely think that this is original <laughs> okay so then back through the foyer over here and then we are gonna go upstairs